Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be doing something that I am very nervous about. Recently, I have been seeing a lot of designs created by AI, which I think is the coolest thing. And I saw this photo by ymymnail.ai, and I almost myself. This design that I'll throw up is something that I have been trying to do for months. Like, I have spent countless hours trying to figure out how to do this in real life. So I think I have found something that is really close. I think it could turn out really pretty and I'm really excited to do it. So with that, let's get into it. I have like an attempt box that's like failed attempts of this. I'm gonna pull some of these out for you to show you. So like you can kind of see some of the like, I, the facets I would say of like the crystal. I've tried using like hot glue to make molds, which some of them failed. They, I mean, they all were, I would consider a failure. Some of them were super close. This is probably the closest I've ever gotten. But that, I was like kind of really excited when that happened. So I'll, I'll put those away because those are the failed attempts and I made something that I considered to be successful and this is what I ended up with. So it's kind of hard to see because it's one it's very shiny but you can kind of see the facets and I didn't do like a lot of them. Really what I ended up using was this transparent this is uh Cricut paper which like Cricut is like a weird craft thing that I've always wanted to try but I've never gotten around to it. However um some of their stuff is really like useful for nails. So this is like kind of transparent and I think it works really well. So, um, I actually haven't done my prep yet. Look at those, my natural nails. When was the last time we saw those? So I'm gonna do my prep real quick and yeah, let's get started. All right, we have my prep done. And what I have been using is these uh, stiletto tips from McCart. I'm kind of just into the shape of these a little bit lately. Um, so let's size these out real quick. All right, so I have them sized and I think what we're gonna end up doing is designing the nails like before we stick them on and then sticking them on. Because the design is pretty transparent, or translucent I should say, we should be able to cure it. Like if we wanna apply them with gel, we should be able to cure them uh, without any problems. I do need to cut out some squares of this. So I'm gonna need five. One, and yeah, my desk is a little unorganized. We're not gonna comment on it. Two, three, four, could fit five, but we're gonna end up needing a little bit more than the nail itself. The hard part is like, how much detail do I wanna put in there? Like how many little triangles and rectangles am I gonna make? And do I want them to be all the same? Do I want them to be uniform? Part of me says yes. Part of me wants to make them all the same. Part of me does want to try some like different ones, like doing something that's like completely random. We'll see how it goes. I'll see how the first one turns out um, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, so I have my five sheets. There is like an extra film on these, so we'll have to pull that off, but it is kind of like protecting the shine. So I'm gonna leave them on until we get to it. So we'll just take it off this first one. And this is always the hard part. <laughs> Come on, oh, I almost have it. There we go. This is satisfying. I love that. This this is what we'll be cutting on. And so I want to cut out really the shape of the nail. I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife. I'm gonna try not to cut myself. And what I find works is if I push it down, the nail stretches out a little bit and having like a little bit of extra helps because you're like putting flat things on a curved surface and I don't know enough about math or geometry to understand how that works. So here we are. I'll try to cut this out very carefully. Oh, and I just stabbed myself, that's fine. Hey, and the hard part is like this, the back part. So I kind of just try my best with it. It doesn't have to be super perfect. I'm gonna follow that later. That was a horrible sound. It is challenging to like cut all the way through. 
There we go. So I'm just gonna kind of trace the other ones, get those cut out, and then we can kind of just go from there. So one thing about this design is that like, I don't know, I feel like if it can be properly done, then it will go viral. And I would love to have something of mine go viral. Kind of why I like want to figure out how to do it properly. Cause I'm also very competitive. <laughs> I'm guilty of that, even though, you know, I try to have a community that is good for everyone. So like, I can't be, obviously I can't be too angry if somebody was to figure this out before me. Like I would honestly congratulate them and be like, oh my God, how the, how the fuck did you figure that out? I just want to like figure out new things and like I make it like a personal mission, solve these like problems. So I don't know, it's just me and my brain. What I've done, and it's kind of hard to see, is I put a strip of like double-sided tape down. That way, when I start cutting into it, the pieces aren't gonna go flying everywhere because it's like a really thin foil. I didn't try this last time I did this, so we'll see if it works. And I need to stop waving this X-Acto knife around before I hurt myself. <sighs> I'm, I'm like trying to mentally prepare for this, so. Why did that like initially work really well? I think this might be I'm so smart. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait a minute. The the hard part is symmetry, like getting it really, really exact. And I'm kind of just like freehanding, like I don't have a huge design planned. Keeping everything symmetrical, sticking with triangles cause they're easy and you know, the best. But of course like you could do like squares or whatever kind of crystals you're in. Mark where I'm going and then, it's a little uneven, but I, you know what? It's fine. I'm wondering if I should do something in the center. <gasps> I'm very careful. Uh, came a little uneven, but it's our first one. First one, part of me is wondering if I should do another one. Again, the symmetry is the challenging part. Maybe imperfections will make it look good. See, sometimes that happens. Now I was using rhinestone glue. <sighs> it almost wasn't thick enough. So I think I'm just gonna straight up use clear poly gel to put these on that much, nothing crazy. And then I need a little alcohol. Oh, I just wanna spread this around really the entire, just in like a thin, even layer. Probably should have buffed it. Okay, so I think right now the hardest part is actually getting the pieces, the double-sided tape, but I can get this on right good to kind of go. All right, there's the first one. I will say that this is gonna take me a second. So we're gonna just kind of fast forward and kind of just get these all on. All right, this is what we've ended up with. And so far so good. It still looks kind of crazy, but I do want to cure it. And then what we're going to do is I think just do another thin layer of poly gel to really seal everything in. I will say I do love the way like McCart's clear makes everything just reflect like crazy. Um, I think that is, oh, that is so pretty. But I'm going to try to get this just like as smooth as possible so that we have a a layer to file to make things just really smooth. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna do it. Um, I think I just need to do like a little bit of a thought out design. I'm really into like the triangles and I kind of have to be a little careful how I poke it at it and stuff just cause it'll create these tiny little bubbles. And I think this is a great start. This is something we are gonna end up filing them. So I will set this off to the side for now. I do want to wipe off the sticky layer though. And then we'll kind of start from square one. The underside also looks kind of cool. So I think this one, I'm gonna try just like triangles. I think that might be like a good plan to stick with. Um, so we will see. Ah, I 
get frustrated when it's not entirely even, but like, I'm not perfect. Like, and I have to realize that. And my little nonsense. But I will say I can like adjust them. Do I want to do, yeah, let me, I can like adjust them using the spaces in between to really like straighten things out. And then that should be fine. But I think that's a great start. We will, and I think I just need to use a like less poly gel for our like first initial layer. You know, I think, I think if I can just get it to stay down, fine, doesn't have to be like already embedded. So I'm kind of just gonna like spread this out. All right, so it's really gonna be the same process for the rest of these. I'll kind of just speed through them. You know, you're just gonna see me putting up down blue shapes. I don't wanna bore you half to death. So we'll kind of just speed through these and then um, we'll get into filing. Okay, I definitely think that triangles are the way to go. Um, I think that one looks really cool. Part of me is like, do I really want all of them to look like that? We will do our other layer of this. But I would say we're off to a really good start. Um, and I'm so far liking how these are looking. Whew, all right, we got that done. Um, Honestly, I think this one is probably my favorite. Um, I don't know what happened here. That one got <laughs> a little messed up. I think I'm just getting tired, but I do want to clean the shape up, make them a little prettier, and then we can kind of just go from there. So let's do some filing, pull this out. And the great thing about like, you know, doing something like this is the filing, you kind of just hold the nail and file it. So it's really easy. Right, these look good filed. Um, let me just clean my nails off. I think I am going to actually use gel to put these on. And I think I'm gonna use like my Vetsy solid nail glue. I'm tired <laughs> and I don't wanna like be messing around with different types of gel and things like that. So then I might've used too much. And I will, as best I can, I'll do a little uh, like post filing. I should be trying to get this excess off. Sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes it is challenging. I don't know defines that kind of stuff, but I don't know. But here we are and I think it looks, I wanna make sure it is fully down. Whatever you feel, if it's interesting to you, this, I'm just gonna pick it up. Trying to scoop it out is not really viable. <laughs> and then this way I can file around my cuticles and make sure that it is like, like real pretty and it. And it is curing because I can feel the heat um like going through it. All right, I got them on my hands. I'm gonna be honest, I was cleaning up my cuticles and I kinda shredded them. Um, even as long as I've been doing this, I still managed to cut myself. It honestly, thank God it doesn't look as bad on camera <laughs> as it does that I'm looking at it. But all we have to do now is top coat them. I'm so excited. So let's, I'm thinking, and acrylics, why not? This top coat, wait a minute, is this the one that uh, this top coat smells weird. It's like, I don't know. I'm very excited to see what this is gonna look like. The whole kind of like idea or like maybe like inspiration is really like having, you know, a nail that with like, cause nail crystals are our thing, but having a nail that looks like a crystal, not having to use actual like nail crystals. So I'm so far very happy um, and I can't wait to see all of them. All right, and here is the finished look and oh my God, does look like I have nail crystals on. I'm gonna be honest, like these are crazy. I am obsessed. I'm so happy with how they turned out. This was one of those sets that was like mentally taxing. Like it was hard for me to like sit there, cut out those pieces, place them, ugh, all that. Um, but I'm very happy that I'm done. It's about 1 a.m. and I have work tomorrow, so I wanna go to bed. 
<laughs> All right, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. Honestly, this design is something that we will probably revisit it once, you know, I'll still experiment with it, see if there are other ways that I can, you know, improve this. Um, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.